Well, y'all, it's been a while. It's Heracross Raid Day, but, uh, first. What the hell is that? There's a baby in there. There's a reason I haven't been around, and we'll catch up, but first. Let's do this raid. So Mega Heracross has come to Pokemon Go for the first time, and it's one of my favorite Pokemon. I have a lot to show you guys from my 20 raids this morning, but very clearly, we also have a lot to catch up on. So while we take this raid down, yeah, I've been gone for what feels like forever, and I've been a little busy. I got a new job, we've been traveling, we're gonna be moving again, and well, <laughs> we have a little girl on the way. So, I've been a little bit busy, but right now, we just wanted to get out, have some Pokemon time, not focus on everything else, and what better way to do that than with the brand new Shiny Mega with boosted Shiny rates, and I did get the ticket gifted to me for the event, so thank you for that, but let's go ahead, let's take this down, let's see what we can get out of it. So the biggest reason I wanted to do this day was actually the Rare Candy XLs. Let's see if we actually get one. There's regular rare candies oh we did get one rare candy xl i need it to max out i got a 100 percent iv origin form palkia that i need to finish but also can we get shiny hair cross no and 1734 not good but i've got a few different things to show you all from earlier but first i need starbucks i need starbucks but i also need shiny pink please so i'm going to say for once niantic didn't lie and the rates are actually boosted because I haven't shown y'all yet, but this is the third Heracross I've gotten today. I'm gonna go over the final numbers at the end of the video because I wanna get in as many raids as I can, but like, I had four wild caught Heracross before this, but never from raids. I didn't do the raids the first time it came around. So to get three from the mega raids today is honestly kind of nuts. 1730, not the greatest, but we have another one right here that has people in it. Let's see if we can make the timer. Oh yeah, we can make the timer, let's hop in on this one. Can we get back-to-back -back shinies right now? Pink, please? No? So since I've been away a while, one thing I haven't been able to talk about is I do know about all of the new features, and as you can see, I am using Roar of Time right now to have a daily adventure instance for the whole time we're playing. And I want to check the journal to see... Oh, I had a... Is that a wild hair across I had run away? That's wild. Um... No shinies in the recents, but during that first raid, I go plus to 15 CP combi. It's a male, can't evolve, but I'll take another shiny on the day. But now I have two minutes until the raids reset, so now I'm gonna go get Starbucks. All right, Starbucks, check. Cake pop, check. Shiny check. That's just rude. Rock Blast Mega Heracross sucks. One, two. Completely forgot the point of the day. I haven't been checking my items at all. Another Rare Candy XL. I think that puts us up to 10. But can we get another Shiny right now? Why? 1749. I think the Hundo is 1769 or 1770 something. Either way, I already have a level 50 hundo. That's down. Let's go to the next one. All right, y'all, we're going speed checks at this point because we only have a half hour left. I got one up the road, and then we got to get all the ones back by the apartment. But, oh, she got a shiny, and I got horrible, not shiny. All right, moving on. So I think it's time we wrap up Mega Heracross Raid Day. One, I want to say I'm sorry about the audio from a couple of those clips. Something happened with my mic, and I had to use my phone's audio, but hey, we still had audio for it, right? Now let's go over what we have for the day. The first thing I wanna show off, I literally got an invite for the first raid of the day, landed 2198 shiny Heracross male. Literally first raid of the day. But that's not the winner. You wanna know the winner? The winner is gonna be this one right here. 1767 shiny female Heracross. I screamed at work because I thought, I thought it was going to be the Shundo. Wasn't the Shundo, but it was still a shiny 98%, and that's absolutely incredible. So we need to go ahead and get our shiny Megadex entry to complete our current Megadex. And on the day, you'll see we got 
93%, 98%, this random comb beat, and then this one wasn't the greatest, but I don't care because 98% almost a shundo, and I didn't get enough XLs to max it out to 50 because I didn't get to do as many raids as I hoped, but I did do my Mega B drill, tried to get as many as I could, but had to work, got what I could. We are going to go ahead and I don't know where I can get it. Right here is where we can get it all the way up to for the power up, so that's where I'm gonna leave it. And then we're going to 4926 will be the CP of our mega shiny hair across in Pokemon Go for the mega dex entry. That is gorgeous. I know it's a goofy looking mega and it's not everybody's favorite. MJ hates it. I love it though. So I'm gonna start working on that. I also wanna best buddy it, try to get it to level 50, but we need to do that one. We need to do a mail, I'll do that off camera. But what I need to do is this one and make sure I'm working on both of them. That's gonna be ridiculous CP. Was that over 5,000 for the level 50? That's kinda crazy. See, and regular Mega Heracross looks great too. Yeah, 5443 for the level 50 hundo double move setted, which this is currently the best fighting and bug mega type in Pokemon Go. So hey, I'm here for it. It's in the collection. And you know what, while we're here, I'm just throwing, as you can see, I have way too much mega energy. While we're gonna do this one though, I'll go over my numbers for the day. I managed 34 raids and three shinies. That's almost a perfect one in 10 ratio for the day. Definitely boosted for me. I'm pretty sure she got two out of like 10 raids, but you guys have been here for years. Now you know her shiny rates are always gonna be better than mine. Absolutely insane. But there's my current collection. And for those that have been here for a while, you remember I refused to do a single raid when they released Shiny Heracross in the raids. They took it out of the wild. It was a bunch of crap, but I did get one, two, three, four, all caught in the wild because I refused to do them in the raids. It took me forever to get it compared to everybody else. But when you live in Florida, you get them eventually. Wasn't living in Florida at the time, but you know, we got it. So there is my current shiny collection for Heracross. This is going to be the biggest winner at a 98% shiny for my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon and my favorite Gen 2 Shiny Pokemon. What I want you guys to do now, let me know down in the comments. How many Shinies did you get? Did you do the raid day? How was your raid day? And overall, I have to say out of the last few, the Shiny rates were the best. And we have one more thing to do that I actually almost forgot about. I wanna see if I can do my Palkia. So I got 12 XL Rare Candy Let's go to right here, Origin Form Palkia, and I think, I don't, I can't promise, but I know if I do this, it'll tell me how many more power-ups I need. Oh no, that is the final power-up. So there it is. We were able to do it. Level 50, 100% Origin Form Palkia. And I got a total of 12 XLs, um, Rare Candy XLs, which... I don't know if you guys would call that increased um, 34 raids, 12 XL rare candy. I don't, I don't know if it was worth the five dollar ticket or not, but I'm happy with it because it was gifted to me, and I always love when I get the gifted tickets. And I was able to finish my Palkia. I got amazing shinies on the day. All in all, I'll give this Heracross raid day for me. It was a 10 out of 10. Collected rare candies, collected XL rare candies got three shinies, two of which were incredible. I was able to have a lot of fun while I was at work, after work. The increase to 20 remote raids, I did do all 20 of them before I even left work. All in all, it was amazing for me, but I wanna know if it was amazing for y'all. Let me know down in the comments, and I've missed you guys. But like I said, we have a little girl on the way, and I've got a lot to prepare for. I don't know the frequency I'm going to upload moving forward. I know I'm gonna do Global Go Fest. I won't be attending any of the in-person Go Fests this year because, well, the prego sleeping on the couch over here. 
she will be eight and a half months pregnant and I don't have any interest in leaving the state or the country while she's getting ready to give me my daughter. So not gonna be able to do it. However, her birthing plan is walk out the baby. So we're gonna go play global somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. We'll figure that out in the near future. If you guys have any ideas in Florida, I've lived here for 31 years and I've never really explored outside of my area in St. Augustine and the Keys. If you're in the area or you've visited Florida and know any really great places to go play Pokemon Go, let me know down in the comments where to go check that out. But I gotta go wake her up, get her food, get this video edited, get ready for work and a million other things. We already have baby's first trip planned and I've got so much to prep for. We're not going to tell anybody her name yet, but I will give y'all a hint. It's my absolute favorite place to go. It's my place of peace. And for those that know me personally, you might already know her name. If you wanna take a guess, leave that down in the comments. If you're new here, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like on the video and I will catch you guys in the next one.